Football is a fast-paced soccer-style game that pits two opponents against each other. But in this case, only one of them is human. Both opponents have control of four sets of player rods that can be manipulated from side to side and also rotated in order to kick the ball and score goals. With support from the SAGE group of companies, a group of University of Adelaide engineering students has now taken the game of football out of the recreation room and into the workshop. The engineering students work together with motion control experts to build a highly competitive automated opponent which is very capable of successfully tackling all opposing human players. Welcome to Mechatronics Foosball. Because it wasn't against you? Yeah. Uh, it wins most of the games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a 2007 uh, final year uh, project uh, for engineering students. And there are five students in the team. They uh, start the preliminary uh, design and go through uh, the detailed designs and finalize the design. This project is um, a mechatronics project. So mechatronics is a kind of discipline combined mechanical and electronical engineering together. So this is a good application to put uh, me traditional mechanical engineering and electrical engineering, also computer technology together and put them into a uh, um, uh, robotic uh, project uh, presentation. And so the objective was to basically uh, take this game and automate it. So um, our objective was to start from scratch, uh, take an existing table, uh, modify it so it could be playable by the project exhibition. And the motivation behind this was basically to demonstrate the principles um, of mechatronics to students and um, so it could be used for educational purposes. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing it used in the Sage Didactic Center. Oh, it's actually reading the values all the time, that it only acts on the values when okay. it's in the running state. If the lid is opened or if you press the stop button, it goes to the pause state, which is, it just halts the movement. During our testing, we discovered a crazy mode. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say that? software section. My section was mainly the decision making within the table, the artificial intelligence behind it. So given a position like after the sensors pick up the ball position, it sends that information on to the software and that's where I deal with it, all the information to pass on to the actuation system. The most challenging part of the software section was to get all the classes organised and what clearly define what should be handling each module, like breaking it up into modules. And so getting the, also the AI in it, what the each, or what each player should be doing and how they should handle the data. It was a really good experience just to see it from a concept at the beginning of the year, just testing it out, proof of concept, and seeing, seeing it throughout the year go from like, hiccups to other roadblocks and overcoming them to a final product. 
Um, well, the sensors uh, consist of a LED and phototransistor pairs. Uh, what we've got is a bank of LEDs along two of the axes of the table. Uh, there's 96 LEDs in all. These illuminate the table surface. Opposing each individual LED is a pinhole camera and a phototransistor. Uh, so that creates a single beam of light in, which produces a grid pattern and that allows us to detect the X and Y position of the ball on the table surface which is then passed to the software. Probably the biggest challenge was lining them up. Uh, the pinhole cameras are very sensitive. Uh, there are uh, two millimeter holes and they have to line up each of them very very accurately. It was CNC'd but then getting the LEDs to line up with that and getting to them to sit flat was probably the biggest challenge to overcome. My greatest learning experience was probably with the organisation of the project, working with industry and working in that environment rather than a university environment, uh, ensuring that the product was to a standard and ensuring, you know, getting the group to work to that standard and all that sort of thing was probably the biggest thing I learned along the way. Um, the most challenging for the mechanical side is to line up the each of the row of players because we have linear on one side and rotation on one side if we have to get them onto exactly uh, right position so they line up and, on the, and hence give smooth linear motions uh, to do that we use water cut for the plate in the middle and then CNC on drilling holes uh, for the linear block and the rotational block to achieve accurate uh, positions. The easiest part for, for my part is the manage, managing the budget of the project uh, because this project uh, is sponsored by Sage when we have a limited amount of money we can use and also uh, just keep an update record of you know, uh, what people bought and then communicate to the uni to give we fund and so basically the budget management I think is easiest. I was responsible for getting in, uh, information from the sensors to the computer and in, instructions from the computer to the control system. One of the challenges I faced was getting information um, was the actual communication between uh, software that we had written and the SoftLogic software that we were provided with. It was, it was a great learning about the, the tools that are used in industry, um, the, the ladder logic design and the, the way things are done in industry uh, with regards to the specifications and meeting all the requirements for the software that we had written. It was great working um, at Sage because we, I got to see what, again, what happens in industry and um, also uh, using all the tools and resources available uh, was a great experience. The most challenging part of my role and not just my role but everyone else's is or on, involved in the hardware was just the amount of little parts involved with the whole design. I mean, it's it's a very complex system, and there are several like uh, different parts that go together in a specific way. So that was probably one of the most challenging parts of it. I think it was a great experience. I mean, we all had a lot of fun making it. Um, a lot of late nights, I guess. We learnt a lot by breaking it down to smaller parts. It was a very valuable experience. There were a lot, there were good times, there were sad times, you know, when things break. But, you know, it just happens, so it's part of the project and we learnt to find a way around it.